Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and there's been a lot of controversy over the last couple of days regarding the new rules that the Warhammer community team have showcased for unit coherency. And that states that units with six or more models must remain within two inches of at least two other models in its squad. Now a lot of people are saying that that hasn't gotten rid of daisy chains because you can just have three models at one end, three models at the other end, and a big straight line in the middle. Yes, you absolutely can do that for movement purposes, but instantly, as soon as you lose one casualty, the rest of your squad has gone down to five models. And I'll, I'm here to show you why. So as you can see here, each of these pox walkers is within two inches of at least two other models in the squad. Uh, this is my handy measuring gauge, courtesy of Terry from Demonscapes. Um, so yeah, every single model in this squad is within two inches of two other models. So what I'm going to do is, I still want to control this objective, but for reasons unbeknownst to me, I want to charge the Blood Angels and also control the objective, okay? So these two front guys here are six and a half inches away from the Blood Angels. There is my six inch charge. Cool. Let's move them up. There we go. So as it stands, in fact, slightly wrong. There we go. Now as it stands, I'm still in coherency. This guy is within two inches of these two models. These two guys are within two inches of the opposite two. And each one in the middle is within two inches of two other models because there's one in front, one behind. The three here, he is within two inches of them. He's within two inches of them and this one is within two inches of them. So everybody is in coherency, that's absolutely fine. So the Poxwalkers swing, they attack, they do nothing to the Blood Angels. The Blood Angels stand firm and resilient as they well should. The Blood Angels pile in and fight back. And unfortunately, this Sergeant with these Power Fist is a little bit cumbersome and they only kill one model. And that's it, one model. In fact, what I'm going to do is show you by taking this model here. Now, even though the Poxwalkers are immune to morale, they don't need to take the morale test, that's absolutely fine. After the morale tests are done, you've then got to check unit coherency. And you've got to check that each model in your unit is within two inches of at least two other models. Well, let's have a quick look. This guy is within two inches of this one, but that one, well, that's more than three inches away. So because he is not in coherency uh, with at least two models of his own unit, he is now destroyed. We repeat the process. This guy within two inches of one model, he's now destroyed. In fact, he would stay now we are down to five models now the five model rule is that you, models in the unit have to be within two inches of one model from their unit which each of these guys are now even though i only lost one pox walker i was daisy chaining to get this objective and as you can see despite losing one because i've lost it from the end he's gone he's destroyed now I know what you're saying, why don't you just take it from the middle? Well, you can do that if you really want. Let's take him. Now, it's still one unit. It's a unit of nine models. The problem is every model in the unit has to be within two inches of at least two other models. You see the problem here? You essentially have to go like that to get those last four guys in coherency, or you have to remove them to leave these guys in coherency of each other. And that is why doing a shape of three models at the end, a line in the middle, when we poxwalkers don't grab each other, and then of course the triangle at the end, that is why that method does not work, because as soon as you lose one model, 
you've lost one side or the other of the daisy chain. So I hope that clears it up. Uh, I will post a link to the Warhammer community article if you want to read the rules uh, for yourself. Um, but hopefully that clears things up for you. It is already a rule in Sigma where Sigma has to be within an inch of another model. Yes, Sigma doesn't have the rule of two models, but it is the same principle of removing the casualties when you're not within coherency like that. So Sigma players will already be familiar with this mechanism. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and we will see you again very soon.